And look, she's kind of looking. Yeah. Look, she does. She wants to, bro. She does. She wants to. She wants to, bro. She's playing games. She acting all shy now. In 2017, the New York Times disclosed allegations of physical harassment and assault against Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein. Since then, numerous men in entertainment, mainstream media, and political systems in the United States and around the world have faced allegations ranging from inappropriate behavior to forced physical misconduct with their female counterparts. To be honest, influential men have previously faced allegations of physical misconduct. However, the allegations against Weinstein have managed to open Pandora's box, triggered an international debate, and increased pressure on businesses, firms, and politicians to react. Recently, popular teen rap star Lil Mosey was reportedly involved in a serious incident that could land him in prison for a very long time. Join me as I take you through why Lil Mosey is going to prison. Number 4. Lil Mosey's Background Lathan Mosey Stanley Eccles, better known as Lil Mosey, was born in January 2002 in Washington. Mosey, who was raised by his mother in Seattle, discovered his passion for rapping in his early adolescence. In 8th grade, while attending Mount Lake Terrace High School, he began his musical career. In 10th grade, he was transferred to Shorecrest High School, but he dropped out to pursue his music career after the success of his song Pull Up. He made his rap debut in 2018 with the studio album North's Best. His second studio album, Certified Hitmaker, peaked at number 12 on the Billboard 200 in the United States. Blueberry Fago is his highest charting single of all time. Lil Mosey rose to prominence in 2016 after uploading his song So Bad online, which drew an unusually large number of views. Number 3. What are the allegations? In January, two 20-year-old women attended a party hosted by Lil Mosey at a cabin in Lewis County. They claimed that Mosey and another party guest physically assaulted them while they were unconscious during the party. According to the affidavit, one of the women spent consented time with Mosey during the party, during which she and her friend were drinking White Claw hard seltzers and champagne before they began feeling sleepy and lost memory of the time. All of this happened while they were allegedly in a car. The women remembered waking up in an upstairs bedroom hours later. As a result, whatever happened between them, Lil Mosey and another man named Francisco Prater was not consensual, but rather a result of moments of force. One of the women suffered injuries she couldn't explain, such as bruising on her arm, neck, and in her knee. Eccles and his partner are accused of engaging in inappropriate activities with the women while they were physically or mentally incapacitated, according to the charge. The women who attended the party in January said they awoke partially clothed and were told they had participated in inappropriate physical activities, but they had no memory of it. Number 2. Case Filed in Lewis County On April 2nd, Mosey was charged in Washington State's Lewis County with physical misconduct and assault of second degree, accused of engaging in inappropriate activity with a person who was incapable of consent. The investigation into Mosey began on January 6th after a Lewis County detective was contacted about a house party where the alleged incident took place. According to the Affidavit of Probable Cause filed against the 19-year-old rapper by the Lewis County Prosecuting Attorney's Office, one of the women told police that when she woke up, someone told her that there was a video of her being a part of an inappropriate activity. The victim recounted she grabbed her friend and they left the house. The next day, a detective contacted her and she presented him with all the details that she could remember. She also informed the detective that she later had received a message from one of the people at the party where the alleged guys were talking about training two girls. After reviewing the information collected by the detective, Lewis County Senior Deputy Prosecuting Attorney Paul Massiello requested that Mosey be detained to face charges of second-degree physical assault. If convicted, Mosey faces a minimum of 78 to 102 months in prison. Number 1. Latest Update as per the latest reports, there's now a warrant out for Mosey and his alleged partner's arrest after they failed to appear in court. Mosey and Prater were expected to appear in court on April 21st, which they failed to appear, as per the court records. Accordingly, Washington State has issued a bench warrant for the rapper's arrest. Legal representation for Mosey and Prater could not immediately be identified and reached to comment on their behalf. So, what do you think? What do you make of this unfortunate episode? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and like us. I will see you next time on the channel. Until then, it's goodbye.